Welcome back to The Evil Within 2. Let's take a closer look around the safe house and then see if we can craft up any ammunition. Oh yeah, I saw this in, when I saw somebody playing this game for a bit. Drinking coffee at a coffee maker will restore you to full health. Coffee makers will automatically begin brewing another pot after use, but the process will take some time to complete. I think it takes like 20 minutes. So... <laughs> <laughs> if you want to be healed up, you can go to a safe house, drink a cup of coffee that magically will heal all your broken bones and everything. And then you gotta wait 20 more minutes for another another one to be brewed. Th this is such a gamey game. I love it. Healing coffee. And the slowest drip coffee maker ever made. takes the edge off. How does a caffeinated beverage take the edge off? But, uh, caffeine makes you edgy. <sighs> Alright, see what we can craft. Weapon upgrades. Probably super expensive, right? Um. So wait, what exactly is that going to cost? Oh, that's just the category. That's So that's not the cost. Uh, that's the cost. 90 parts and I have 125. Oh, increases firepower for more damage would be good. That'd be really good. Yeah, so from what I saw, there's... You sort of have the base kind of item, in this case weapon parts, to do upgrades with. But there's also kind of a tier system where you can't actually go above a certain tier unless you have high-grade weapon parts. And that just... all it does is unlock the next level. Yeah, this might be good. Firepower would be awesome. Reload time, eh. Fire rate, I mean, I don't really have the ammo to fire super fast. Clip capacity, yeah, that'd be good. That's pretty cheap, too. Okay, but let's see how much I can craft. Oh, that doesn't take weapon parts, right? That just takes, like, gunpowder. Okay, so we're free to spend our points here, then. In that case, let's upgrade firepower. And... Ammo capacity. Okay, we desperately need ammo. For some reason we can only hold 10 or 20 rounds on our person. That is that is amazing. Somehow this game is the gamiest game ever, but also you have a tiny inventory for bullets, which is both gamey and also not gamey cuz normally you can hold unlimited ammo or some ridiculous number. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, so just 3 gunpowder to make Oh, is it? Wait, is that to make one round? Yeah, that's to make one round. Okay. Well, um, I'll get like ten, or I should probably just max it out, huh? The only thing I'm worried about is that I'll find ammo and it'll go to waste. But the difficulty for a nightmare did say you have to craft most of your ammo, and you won't find very much. So let's just craft it till I have max. Oh, and I can craft medical syringes too. You can only hold one medical kit. I've already got one. I've got nine of these. I'll get two. Select the field crafting icon from the arsenal menu to craft items without using a work workbench. Field crafting consumes more resources than crafting at a workbench, and you cannot upgrade weapons via field crafting. Okay. So if you're really in a bind and you need to craft some uh, medical syringes or something like that, you can. Or ammo. Oh, 
hell's that over there? Weird wispy looking stuff. This is where we get to spend our goo on upgrading our person. At least I thought it was. Another workbench here. Cool. Uh. Detective Castellanos, what a pleasant surprise. Welcome back. You again? How are you here? I could ask you the same question. Regardless, it's nice to see a familiar face. Even if that face has seen far too much. You look tired, Detective. I can help you get back in shape. Just like before. Alright, so we've got 900 green gel. Probably the very first thing I want to upgrade is stealth. But let's just kind of look around. Oh man, I've got so little green gel. That alone is 1500. Can I get anything? 1500? Nah, I can't afford anything. Okay, I'm back. I was on the phone for a bit. I don't understand. This place. You. It's just like Beacon. But this isn't Beacon. This is Union. Is it? It all seems familiar to me. These walls, that chair, you. For me, it's as if nothing has changed at all. find this signal he mentioned. Hard lock on. Hmm. When the communicator's within scanning range of a re resonance point, a waveform will appear on the upper left side of the screen. Move the communicator around to find the signal and lock onto it. <laughs> Looks pretty far away. But it's the only lead I've got. God, I hope it's Lily. Come on. 
That must be the signal O'Neill right mentioned. Suck it up, James. We've been through worse than this. Well, I think I probably want to do the... Whoa. What the hell? Probably want to do the optional quest first. So, no going back where I came from, I guess? What in the hell? If it keeps breaking apart like this, there won't be any union to search. I gotta try to find that signal. <laughs> that is so cool. Search garbage cans? Sweet. Was that gunpowder? I just found gunpowder in a garbage can. Right, so since supplies are obviously very important, I should very, very thoroughly search everything. Is there another signal? Oh, there is a new one. So I'm assuming they show on the map, right? I think it said they did. That's the rogue signal. Looks really close, actually. Super close. So Lily's all the way over there. I'm not quite sure what these indicate. Maybe... I, I don't know. This is a quest? And these are signals, but not quests. I don't think this was a signal, though. I'm not sure. Interesting thing, and I think this is a quest thing. Just start searching around. Or should I go straight for the quests? Mm. I'm gonna go in here first. this thing. Okay, please do your animation fast. Cool. Cool thing. I like cool thing. Oh god, that's the top half of a body. Low. It's faster than I am, I think. Now it's really moving. Alright. Oh. Hand axe. When acquired, a hand axe will uh, temporarily replace the survival knife in combat. It can instantly kill some enemies, but will break after a single use. Hand axes can be found around Union or taken from enemies. That makes no sense. I love it. Why are they so brittle? <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That one would seem to be alive, huh? 
His eyes are glowing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, these are reinforced, aren't they? Yep. Oh. Someone in there. They don't seem to be a monster. Forgive me. Oh my God. Please. I know I've sinned, but not this. Please. I won't sin again. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Please forgive me for what I've done. Hello? Please forgive me. Are you okay? Please forgive me. Please forgive me. Oh God, please. 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 See if I can lose him. Did I actually lose him? Well, not really. My half owner on the other way could have knifed him. Roar. Okay, managed to not waste any ammo, I think. I don't think I missed a shot. Wasn't there goo here? Does the goo go away if you don't collect it immediately? Aha! Locker key. So old fashioned keys can be used to open lockers in Nurse Tatiana's treatment area. Yeah, I saw that when I was watching somebody play through the game a bit. You break those statues, get the keys, and then you open the lockers and they give you just random goodies. Huh. Looks like the Padre had some fight in them. Oh, 
Oh no, it doesn't disappear. All right, now let's go to the signals. Or, or, oh, hello. Or I could just go here. I'm just gonna go down the street and go into every building. Union Visitor Center. Welcome to Union Pamphlet. Union is an ideal mix of small town charm and modern day convenience, surrounded by diverse natural wonders. Come and step back into a simpler time, where the warm, friendly smiles of the residents are comfortable and familiar. Get away from the hustle and bustle and come to a place that welcomes you with open arms. I see a staircase in there. Can't open it though. There's a bunch of them down there. <laughs> Just found a rock. I can't decide. Do I just check the side? I'm just going to check the side alley. I'm just going to go where I feel like. Uh, here's somebody near. Yep. Well, since I'm hidden here, let's throw a bottle nearby. Was it in range? I don't think it was in range. I guess bush cover is not flawless. I wonder where my save is from. Oh, no big deal. I think it's a good tactic though. I'm gonna try it again. 
or if, actually if I'm fast enough I might be okay. Christ. Are they hiding in the bushes? I just want to explore everywhere. Uh, I need I need to pick a place. I haven't gone too far north, have I? No. All right, I'll just keep going forwards. It's gonna be hard to make sure I go everywhere. safe to go up there and take that one out. It's a good thing a lot of them are so preoccupied with just smashing bodies and stuff. It's a good distraction. Just out of range of it. Oh, this one. Hmm. So the Mobius APC Warden crossbow is actually uh, a signal. Jesus Christ, how many signals are there? Handgun ammo pouch, alright. Derailed train. Wonder if I can go in the train. There's another one. Oh wait, no, I think that's it. Oh, that's indicating that I'm at one of the signals. Yeah, that's the signal there. That strange looking stuff. Should I just climb down? Yeah. Alpha 
one emergency. You know the protocol. Alpha one. Are you serious? What about the tech team? Fuck them. Let them fend for themselves. This ain't the Marines anymore. No man left behind don't mean shit in here. You got a problem with that? You kidding me? I've been waiting to be let off the team. I'm tired of protecting techs and running like a bitch. Good. Let's secure the weapon stashes. Load up and clean house. No matter what it looks like, monster or human, take it out with extreme prejudice. What the hell was that? Whatever it was, it looks like they were here. And where did they go? Huh? Hmm? More signals. Not sure if I want to run into these two. Sounds like they went rogue. Then again, weapons are useful. So that's where they are now. I guess they're gonna try to kill me? Kill everybody? Kill everything? I wanna break these crates, but... I eh, probably won't be heard. I'm just waiting for it. I'm waiting for the roar. I'm gonna try the bottle tactic. Oh, cool. I was gonna try to get out of the bush so I could see, but actually it just gets rid of it when you're throwing a bottle. That's nice. flip around like that, it's so disturbing and hard to predict. Oh Christ, no, that didn't help at all. I'm not sure how to utilize the bottle tactic very much, to be honest, because the problem is there's usually no opportunity to go after them until they start to go back to where they were before, but when they go back to where they were before, they move so fast that I can't even catch up. Let me see if I can get it to come closer. Or maybe... Whoa. The fuck? What? The hell just happened? Okay. It just like came straight for me even though it's just in the bush? Or maybe I moved out of the bush because I couldn't see it anymore. I don't know. Either way, I am running up to... Ah! Ladder, 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 ladder. Alright, let's see what they do with ladders. I'm assuming they can climb ladders, right? Oh yeah. That's a lot of wasted rounds. Yeah, I thought I'd be able to kick him off a ladder or something. Any more coming? No, I'm good. Okay.
I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna risk it. Okay. Ooh. Oh, Christ. Oh, come on! Fuck! What the hell? Oh, wow! These enemies are so freaking hard and so hard to predict. Where'd they go? Or did they burn themselves? Well, now would probably be a pretty good time to use one of these. That's not how you use them, Sebastian. Yeah, I seriously have, like, no idea how to use bottles for anything useful, it seems like. I've had very, very bad luck with them. Looking. Oh. Well, if there's boxes in there, then you must be able to get in there somewhere, somehow. This isn't where one of the signals is. Is it? No, that's way up there. Handgun ammo pouch. Handgun bullets. Alright, let's explore this area. Actually, no. Let's go up the strip. Up the road. And I know I can just skip these enemies, obviously. Obviously I could just sneak around them and that wouldn't be terribly hard, but then I'd be missing out on all the green goo. Okay, I don't know about those three. They're, they're clustered. I don't think I could really pull them apart. Water conducts electricity. Huh. It does. That's true. I guess I can use that as a trap of some sort. Hmm. I could turn on the music. I don't know how far that's going to go, but it could attract those three over there. And then... Well, I mean, what's going to conduct electricity, though? I mean, sorry, let me rephrase that. The water will conduct electricity, but what's the source of electricity? Right? I mean, I need, I'm assuming I need some sort of a tool or something that I haven't gotten yet. God, that looks beautiful. Yeah, I can't do anything with that yet. see one of these in a while. Oh, I think that's going to help me with my water problem.
Warden crossbow. Different bolt types. Uh, most types of warden crossbow bolts will function as proximity mines after being fired onto a surface. Sebastian will not trigger proximity mines. Firing a warden crossbow bolt onto a surface with another surface immediately opposite will create a tripwire trap. A red laser while aiming shows where the tripwire will be created. Shock bolts. Marks from enemy to enemy, stunning them, knocking them down. Can also be fired at broken fuse boxes and pools of water for special environmental effects. Okay, so shocking them isn't going to actually kill them though, right? Oh, fallen enemies can be stomped to finish them off. Hmm. Is that the hint hint to use it? They're coming. Harpoon bolt. Impales struck opponents. Harpoon bolts make no sound when fired, so they can be very useful in certain situations. Okay, hold on. So do I have shock bolts? I have one. Christ, it's so bright. It's so bright. Surely they're all going to see that. My god. Alright, let me turn this thing on. No, 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 Sebastian. Come on, come on. Oh, that's would be music. I guess it was just horn. Also, I don't think that did anything. That did nothing. Really? Okay. What? <laughs> that attracted them from the same distance over there when it was scripted. What the hell? I could do something really dangerous and try to run and collect them all. But that is awfully dangerous. Bottles really wouldn't work for all of them. Huh. Dunno. I guess I just won't do it. So this way continues pretty far up here, but this way down here doesn't go that far, so I'm gonna explore back here. None of them have returned to where they were before. Yeah, they're all just spread out around there. Okay, well, I could try to lure them a little bit closer, like... Oh. Like, I'll try to beep this car. No, Sebastian. The beep, yes, but not the climb on top. Did that work? I got one. 
I just got one. There's no point in shocking one, is there? Uh, I'll just take him out with the knife. More accurately, I'll fail to take them out with the knife and then waste ammo. Gotta be realistic. Come on, come on, come on. Don't move, don't move. Yes! They really just like can't hear, can they? Got an axe. Dangerous. Mm. Oh, it saw me. Yep, it saw me. All right, let me try losing them. Instead of just wasting bullets, I, I imagine if you get caught, that doesn't mean you have to just shoot them. Like, why not just hide around the corner, right? They really don't chase you very far. Whoa! I didn't even press anything, I just walked into it. Where is this? Christ. Let me clear this area before I loot the body. Got a bad feeling about this. No, yeah, it's clear. Probably afford a decent upgrade. Firepower is always good. What's the next one? A hundred parts. Yeah, let's do it. And this is to unlock more firepower. I could do that, but no point. Don't have the parts to do anything with it. Small block type fuse from an electric junction box. It cannot unfortunately be used to repair broken fuse boxes, but it can be used to craft useful items. Hmm. I feel like something's going to be there. So it's double tap E to kick it open, right? Yeah. I just wish the Bastion went ROAR and then kicked it open. Alright, back to trying to take out these two.
Uh, uh. Stealth kills in this game are hard earned. At least right now without any skills. Maybe later on you'll... I mean there was a whole stealth category for skills so I imagine it'll get easier. Turn to turn around. Ah, X. Okay. Clean it up the streets. Did I collect their goo? Yeah. That's locked. I really need better stamina. It's god awful. Winter soda? one over there. I'm pretty near base camp, so I could go back. I probably should soon so I can spend my points and drink some coffee. Some gunpowder in the car. If I break the window, though, she might hear. parts in the garbage can. Damn rats. Let's go back and spin our points. And save. <laughs> hey, how's it going? Oh, we also have the the um, keys to open up the lockers. We got two of them. Wasn't it this way? Yeah. Christ, there she is. Fuck. A key? Excellent. <laughs> Some keys open doors of perception, but this isn't one of them. 
This one is more mundane, but still useful. Go on, open one. Its contents are better off in your hands than locked away in here. Ten gunpowder. That's not very good. Shotgun shells. Don't even have a shotgun yet. All right. Let me take a look at these and see which pathway I kind of want to go down. Well, I'm sure it's going to be more than one, but yeah, let me see what I want to focus on. Okay, so I've taken a look at all of them, and it's pretty straightforward. You know, health is mainly restore more health. Or, oh no, sorry, recovery is things like you get more health restored from syringes and stuff, and health is, at least the main line for health is increasing your life gauge maximum, which would be very nice. I haven't looked at these side paths, but that's in the future. Athleticism is stamina based. Stuff like that. Stealth is, well, stealth. And combat is things like um, steadier hands, like reduced reticle sway, reduced kickback, more damage in hand to hand combat. I don't know why you'd want that. I mean, maybe if you upgraded a lot, it'd be worthwhile, but I'd rather just not do hand to hand combat. If you get to that point, I feel like you kind of failed, unless you're using an axe. But anyway, I definitely want to go with Stealth. So the one I super super want, the one that made me think that you could um, do Stealth kills on people from the front, I think was probably this ability, Ambush. Perform sneak kills from around a corner, wall in cover. That is, that sounds incredible. So let's get this one. Low profile, your footsteps produce less noise, making enemies slower to investigate. And then from that, we can afford, well, that, uh, we can't afford that. Can afford that one. Can't even afford that one. <laughs> so it's either low profile too or ambush. Definitely ambush. Yep, so you have to be in cover. Oh, that's weird. It's E to do the sneak skill, sneak kill when you're in cover. Normally it's F when you're just walking behind an enemy. Uh, the enemy must be in the center of the screen for the sneak kill icon to appear. You cannot perform a sneak kill if the enemy is aware of you. Don't think I... No, I don't need to manufacture more ammo, do I? Nah, I've got 15 shots. This would be a pretty good time to end the episode, but I really want to try the sneak kill thing. So, let's find someone. Should be nobody on the left side of the street. Oh, here's someone nearby. I mean, they're not inside the building. I thought I cleared behind this building, didn't I? So where are they? Yeah, I definitely went back here. Oh, 
Oh, there's a ladder up there. They must be on the roof. Oh, this will be perfect. Look at all these things to take cover behind. Yes. Kind of out in the open here. <clears throat> okay, here we might see the value of the bottle. Let's try it. I saw it. I pressed it. I'm pressing it. Why isn't it happening? What if you need to hold it down or something? Come on. Come on. Come on. What the? What? The fuck was that? What in the hell was that? I have no idea what happened there. Actually, loser. I'll be damned. I do not know what happened there. All right, try number two. I'm, I don't understand. I'm dead. Whatever. Just kill me. I... Is it wrong? Is it not E? Is it F like it should be? To be consistent, it should be F, but it said E, did it not? Let's look. What is it under files? Tutorials. Ambush. It says E sneak kill when the sneak kill icon is displayed. All right. Let's try this again. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Quite a rebound. Okay, I'm going to press F. Come closer. Come closer. These bottles are like just useless. Yeah. It's F. It's the same key it is when you do a normal sneak kill. It's F. Why does it say E? It just lies to you. Oh my god. Does turning it to nightmare difficulty make it lie to you about the game mechanics?
Just, oh, that looks like a sniper rifle. Just out of curiosity, what if I look... Uh, files, tutorial, there's something here for sneak kills, right? Yeah, there it tells you F to attack unaware enemies from behind with a sneak kill. But then in the tutorial for the ambush, it says... Press E. Okay. That explains some things. It's still really, really, really hard to make use of bottles. Damn. But it helps when you press the right key. Mobius communicator log, replacement parts. Uh, Keating, we're on the roof of the building next to the visitor center. I blew out the barrel of the sniper rifle. Need replacement parts, stat. McCoy, the parts are in the supply shed across from Union Auto Repair. That's all the way up in the northwest corner of town. It's right on the edge of the break. Come on, man. Keating, I don't care where they are. Bring them to me before these things find their way up here. McCoy, shit, man. Why do I always get the dangerous jobs? Okay, so I can't use the sniper rifle just yet. I need to repair it first. Fair enough. Would have been too easy if it just worked. Broken sniper rifle. <laughs> Look at that split. Looks like a banana peel. Badly damaged. Barrel's toast. But the rest of it looks okay. Need to find some parts to... F Is that it? No. Ah, there it is. Fix it. Okay, well, on that note, I think I'm going to end this episode here. So I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, I'm going to head more north. <laughs>